They got steeple there. Today we're going to be talking about kind of close quarter duels in World of Warships Legends here. I'm going to start off with some conceptual kind of background stuff to help you apply the tactics that we're going to look at in the, you know, the following two thirds of the video uh, to your game. We'll jump right into it here. Basically, there's two games going on simultaneously in World of Warships Legends. You can win the first game if your team gets to a thousand points before the enemy does. And this is a more common occurrence on the domination mode and that you achieve that by capturing and controlling the bases. The other way to do it, the other game that's going on and the way to win that game is reduce the enemy team's HP to zero. Okay, now if you happen to do that before the enemy team uh, reduces your team's HP to zero, then you also win the game. So there's two ways to win a World of Warships Legends game and which one you want to pursue in a given uh, situation depends on you know the factors of the game so which game mode does brawling impact it's fully uh you know impacts the reducing the enemy team's hp to zero now it seems a little weird to introduce the concept uh like that perhaps but when we're fighting a cruiser in this case or another ship close quarters we will be fighting the alaska directly to the south of us here in a moment uh 1v1 when we're doing that, we're trying to reduce that player's HP to zero before they reduce ours, okay? So similar idea, you're taking the full game concept and applying it to a 1v1 aspect of the game. And so there's two ways to win that fight. You can either kill him, uh, you know, there's two ways to pursue that, and you should be doing it simultaneously. You can kill him as quickly as possible, and you need to balance that with reducing the incoming damage to you as much as possible. Now, we're not going to go hugely into armor angling i've covered that topic uh quite a bit on this channel if you're not familiar with what i'm talking about just type t bull uh armor angling into the search bar and you should find numerous videos that will hopefully help you with the concept but basically if we get shot in the flat sides the broad sides that's when we take the massive damage and if we're getting shot kind of in the nose or in the rear if the shots are skipping off the angled sides of the ship that's largely pointed at them then we're reducing or even minimizing or reducing to zero the damage that we're going to be taking. Another way to reduce damage that's coming to us, damage the enemy means of delivering damage to us. And we can actually knock out the turrets. Now that we're moving into position here, you're going to see the angling and the turret attack in action. Okay, so whenever we're in these 1v1 situations, whether it's battleship v battleship, uh, potentially even cruiser v battleship, or cruiser v cruiser, Certainly, we want to be attacking these turrets, and we want to largely, usually be pointed at uh, these guys. Now, everything I say in every video has exceptions, but these are general uh, concepts. Alaska coming around on the map, you can see he's almost pointed directly at us. We're pointed directly at him. We launch first, and we do knock out the turret. When we knock them out temporarily, they turn red, and if we hit them, if we reduce the turret's HP, and they have their own HP pool... If you reduce that HP pool all the way to zero, then they get knocked out, and we see the black icon. Uh, so if it gets red, they have to use damage control, or they can wait a while and let the uh, crew fix it manually. I keep seeing them shoot at the guy behind me, so we take a little bit of a risk. We get that back gun in play for this one uh, attack, and luckily we're getting some nice strikes there. We got a gun knocked out. We got one of the turrets knocked out permanently. And that risk paid off because we don't even... Now we see a return fire there, it looks like. And it looks like we were able to mitigate the entirety of the damage. So now we've permanently reduced his entire ship's uh, damage output per minute by one-third. And when he's pointing at us, by half, okay? Because he's got two turrets in the front and one in the back that can't hit us currently. You see we also disabled that other one. So his current damage output when pointing directly at us is 0%. And when he goes to a 45 degree or greater angle, then he's at uh, one third, 33% of his damage output until that crew heals that turret. We're trying to get away from that Yamato who unfortunately isn't interfering with this fight. And I didn't want to push into him this aggressively, but boom, second turret permanently disabled. Now he's going to ram here. Uh, normally I would like to turn away from him to try and avoid this ram, which I of course know is coming, but the Yamato, I'm just worried about him killing me. So I figure I'd rather at least kill the Alaska, get the damage there. Uh, rather than get one shot by the uh, Yamato and get no gain. So, good play by that player to recognize that we completely disabled a ship. Uh, and then just trading there with the Ram is an outstanding play on his part. And one that I would have normally liked to have avoided, but uh, situation didn't really allow it. 
Okay, so now this whole sequence here, you can see here we actually got a 2v2 uh, team. And we're going to be dueling one of these uh, pairs of, I think they're both Alaskas, if I recall. Now my man, my team's going to go down relatively quickly. And then I'm going to be fighting these guys 2v1, but they're going to kind of break their uh, attention and try and surround me. So we'll call this playoff as we get into here. But you can see basically those concepts in action. Now we were trying to reduce his damage output, knock those turrets out. And the other advantage of shooting at those turrets is if we miss, if the shells go by the turrets, well then they're usually going to be hitting the superstructure and we can actually damage the superstructure, the area above the ship, the, you know, the flat part of the ship. That's less armored than the hull itself. So let's say I'm hitting that Alaska that was pointing at us last match in the hull when he's that steeply angled at us. We're not going to be doing much damage at all, if any. On those shots but if we hit the turret that doesn't actually damage the ship's HP but it damages that module and then any shots that go over the turret hits the superstructure then we're getting three four five thousand ancillary incidental damage okay so that's the beauty of attacking those turrets like that protecting yourself or protecting ourselves by angling at the ship if we wanted to play it really strongly we would angle the turrets in between reloads turn them off 33 degrees or whatever, then if he's attacking my turrets, they're actually going to be hitting angled armor. That's a more of an advanced tactic. Maybe we'll see it in this game, maybe not. But you'll see me uh, mention it from time to time for sure. Especially on flat front turrets like the French and the, the uh, Russian battleships, it's extremely important. But it's always nice uh, for each ship. So here we got, we're basically uh, squaring off on two angled Alaskas versus two angled Alaskas. We also got to, of course, be keeping an eye on the west. Immediately we begin to target the turrets. Now I'm hoping both of us shoot the same ship. In an ideal world, you and your teammates always combine fire onto the one uh, target. I need to back up though. I always want to limit how many ships can just shoot me at any time to one at most. And to do so, I need to back up, get this island between me and the right hand guy. I'm just going to keep shooting the guy that I can uh, hit here. If, looks like my teammate's doing some damage to him. And if he doesn't want to... Uh, team up with me. There's nothing I can really do about it, but we will continue to attack the turrets here And you can see once again either we're hitting the turrets or if we're missing we're getting superstructure shots Which are producing nice juicy damage. So that's the aim point once again Second guy can't attack us at all and we're relatively steep angled at that guy If he decides he wants to attack me then we'll point more directly at him take those back uh, the back turret out of play and rely more on protecting our ship first and foremost rather than dealing damage. Our teammate does go down here. Now we're forced to back up behind the island. And we're going to continue to, number one, try and minimize this 1v1 rather than allow them to press a 2v1. Uh, but I'm same game plan. Attack the turret, attack the superstructure behind it, see what we can do. Uh, keep an eye when he's this low. Okay, and there we permanently disable one of the turrets. And when he's that low in HP and I'm this high in HP, another outstanding opportunity to ram, okay? Some players, you see it, newer players usually will be ramming too often. But in brawling situations, that's when you want to be looking for those opportunities. When you're trading inordinate or, uh, you know, unequal numbers of HP health points, that's when you want to ram. So he's got 10,000 or less health, I got 42,000, okay? If he rams me there, that's a 30,000 team HP swing. That would be a great opportunity, especially in a standard match. Uh, it's a little less valuable in Arena. You'd rather keep your guns alive and continue to get some XP throughout the match. Uh, need to be popping for sure the sonar to pick up this other guy. And then if we don't see him on the sonar, go ahead and get the radar going. There's no destroyer, so we don't need to save these consumables. But you'll see me looking around. I'm aware. And there the guy actually pops up on the map. But we're aware that we're getting surrounded at this point in time, which is a problem. We do miss the shot there as well. In the turret, we're expecting the guy that's low to once again ram me. I'm also looking out for this guy behind me, trying to ram. So I'm trying to angle against him and make sure he goes by me. And then we're taking shots from the west as well, unfortunately for us. Another guy's chiming in. He does not get the ram off here. We're going to try and shoot down into his uh, citadel there. Unfortunately, we shoot over it. But we do get a nice wicked shot on him. And now I'm trying to... Now that we've avoided him, my gameplay is sink the guy on the left and then try and ram the guy in the right because we're not going to sustain this uh, three-way getting shot at by everyone from every different angle. That's just not going to work. Unfortunately, we go down there before we can pull it off, but pretty good 
uh, looks at how to brawl, I thought, at least in the arena mode. So that's going to do it for that one, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Questions, comments, leave below. Love to hear from you, and we'll see you all later. Peace.